Hey guys, and welcome back to Flatpak Effects, the place where I teach you all the tips and techniques for creating your very own video effects. So in this video, I'm gonna be giving you my beginner's guide to using Mocha Pro. Now we're gonna be using the free version that comes installed inside of After Effects. Now don't worry if you don't know what Mocha is or you've never used it before, because in this video, I'm gonna run you through exactly what you can do with the program and a beginner's guide on how to use it. So let's jump over to After Effects and get started. So Mocha is actually Academy Award winning planar tracking software. Now planar tracking is basically just a fancy way of saying that it's a tracking program that just tracks different planes. And planes are basically just two dimensional surfaces that make up your scene. Now it's not the cheapest software you can buy, but if you are serious about VFX, it's well worth the investment. Now having said that, since 2008, Mocha has actually been included in every version of After Effects. Now obviously there's a lot of differences between the free version that comes with After Effects and the paid pro version, but I thought the best way to teach you about what Mocha actually is, is to actually show you what it can do. So playing on screen at the moment are some visual demos of what this program can actually do. Now Mocha is amazing at tracking planes inside your scene. Now with that data, you can add things into your scene. You can also remove objects from your scene. It will also save you hours when it comes to rotoscoping anything out of your scene, which is essentially the process of cutting moving objects out of your scene. And it can also use tracking data to stabilize your scene and post. Now these are just a few examples of what Mocha can actually be used for, but let's jump into After Effects and I'm gonna show you firsthand how it actually works. So over in After Effects, I've got this clip here of this cruise ship sailing into port. And what I want to do is quickly replace this logo down here with my own. Now to do this simply, all I have to do is select my clip. I come up to animation and down to track in Mocha AE, which is the free built-in version inside of After Effects. Now, once you open it up for the first time, it's gonna ask you to register your program and you can fill out your details and hit register. Next, it's gonna pop up with a new project window. We're gonna give our project a name and you can choose a location of where you'd like to save this file. It's also gonna select our import clip and show us the in and out points in frames. And then down here, the only other thing you really need to check is just double check that this frame rate is, matches what you have in your composition and then hit okay. Now we can see our scene inside of Mocha. Now Mocha is laid out very similar to how After Effects is. So we have our project window or layer controls over this side. We have our main timeline, which sits in the middle. We have our tool window, which sits up the top. And then we have these panels, which sit down the bottom here where we can use to fine tune our tracks. So the first thing we need to do is we actually need to create a track to go over this area. So I can come up here and use my zoom tool and I can just zoom in so I can see what I'm doing. I can also use my hand tool to move around and then go back to my selection tool. Now, instead of a mask, we use what's called an X-spline layer tool. So we activate this by hitting this button up here and then all I need to do is just draw a rough box that sits over this whole layer and then right click to set it in place. Now the great thing about this tracking software is you treat everything as a plane. So the side of the ship would be one plane. You'd have the surface on the top, which is another. The water would be another plane just to give you an idea. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this to get some tracking information on the side of this plane. So I wanna select my layer up here and I wanna come down under this track panel and make sure perspective is also selected. Then to actually start the track, I just come over to this tool here and just hit start track. Now that's just gonna work away at creating a tracking point. Now the thing to remember is it's not using points to track, it's tracking everything within that box. So it's using all that information to essentially create a very accurate tracking plane. Now I can just grab the playhead here and just scroll through and we can see that that's actually stuck fairly well into our scene. Now the other thing I can do is I'm gonna come up here and turn on the planar grid, and then I wanna turn on the planar surface. And that's gonna bring up this blue box here. Now if I grab the corner of this, this is where we set the part that we actually want to replace. So everything within inside this box 
is the area that we actually want to replace. So I'm essentially using this grid to help line up with the edge of my box. So I'm essentially trying to get this grid to line up with the plane on the side of the ship. Now I can test this by just playing through the timeline and you can see, and it gives you a really good indication of how well that grid has been tracked to that surface. So once I feel like it's in a pretty good position here, I'm gonna bring my playhead back to the start, gonna make sure our layer's selected, then I wanna come down here and hit export tracking data and it's gonna pop up with this little dialog box. Now this is one of the first limitations between the pro version and the free version. Now in this version, which is included with After Effects, we only have these three drop-down options. And basically the one we want to select is this middle one, which is After Effects Corner Pin Supports Motion Blur. Now once I've selected that, I'm gonna copy that to my clipboard. I'm then gonna come up to the Save the Project, which is gonna save it. I can then just close Mocha. So now I'm back in After Effects. I wanna make sure my playhead is back at the start. I'm gonna right click and create a new solid and I'm gonna set my solid color to be roughly the same as the background color behind that red logo. Then with that layer selected, I'm gonna come up to edit and down to paste. Now what that's actually done is added a corner pin to that solid layer which follows our track. So if I play through, you can see that it's actually covered up that logo layer. Now all we need to do is take that layer, come up to layer, down to pre-compose. We can call this one logo. We're gonna make sure that leave all attributes is selected. And now we can open up that composition. Now back here, I've got my logo layer, which I'm gonna drag into that composition. Now the other thing I need to do here is right click on my logo, come up to transform, and we want to select fit to comp. And that's gonna stretch out your logo to fit that comp. When we come back to the main composition, you can see it's automatically put it in the right aspect and now it's stuck on the side of our ship. Now that's just one aspect of what you can use Mocha for. And I'm going to be introducing a series of tutorials which will actually take you through the more in-depth and more complicated aspects of using Mocha. But if you're interested in learning more about Mocha, I've put some links in the description below which will take you to their website. So there you go guys, there's a quick introduction to using Mocha inside of After Effects. I hope you've learned something and I'll catch you in the next tutorial.